guys, Jordy here from Premiere Basics, and today I'm gonna show you five awesome things that you can do with an adjustment layer. I know, it's a pretty boring thing, but let's fire up Premiere because I'm gonna show you how to create something really cool with that. We all know that we can use an adjustment layer to mass color grade our video by just dragging one over your clips and applying a lumetri effect onto it. But there is so much more that we can do. First, we're gonna create a transition and learn how to use it efficiently. Make two shots and drag them into the timeline. We're going to make the first shot transition into the second one, obviously. Go to the new item menu in the project panel and click on adjustment layer then click ok and drag it above your two clips now find the offset effect and drag it onto the adjustment layer then go to the effects controls and set a keyframe at the exact moment that you want the transition to start go a couple of frames forward and move your image completely to the right by increasing this control right here next right click the first keyframe go to temporal interpolation and select ease out do the same thing for the last keyframe but this time ease in now the animation starts and ends more fluent. It's time to add some directional blur to the transition now to make it even smoother. Once the effect has been applied, you can head over to the effects controls and navigate to the middle of a transition and set the blur length to around 180 and make a keyframe by enabling the stopwatch. Set the direction to 90 degrees so that the blur is moving in the right direction. Now move a few frames back to where your transition is supposed to start and set the blur length to zero. Then choose the end of the transition and also set that to zero. Move the playhead to the middle of the transition and select your clip and then press M on your keyboard to create a marker. This is a real time saver because now you can snap this marker to basically every clip where you want to have that transition and that is the power of the adjustment layer. That looks great. Now let's get into the second trick. Let's say that you created a text layer, but wanted to make your text more visible by making your background blurry. Well, move the text layer one track higher with your Alt plus arrow keys, then create a new adjustment layer and drag it in between your two clips. Now find the Gaussian blur effect and drop that onto the adjustment layer. Set the blurriness to whatever makes you happy. Next, create a mask on the opacity of the adjustment layer by clicking this little square right here. Then readjust the mask until it fits as a background for the text. Set the mask feather to zero and now you can even animate the blurriness so that it comes in and disappears. There you go. You can now drag the adjustment layer underneath every text layer in your video. And that way you will save a lot of time because you can just duplicate it wherever you need. What did you say? Oh, you're still pretty new to Premiere and you're wondering if we have a beginner's course. Well, you're in luck, my friend, because we do have a beautiful course on Skillshare, which you should definitely check out. In this course, you will learn all the basics of Adobe Premiere Pro. And when you're done with that, we also have an advanced course to get you ready for your video editing career. Other students have really liked this course because the reviews are super positive. And on top of that, you can also get a free month of Skillshare if you're new to the platform. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. And now it's time to learn how to get those cinematic black bars on your video, but done the right way. Simply drag an adjustment layer above your video and then find the crop effect in the effects library. Drop it onto that adjustment layer and then head over to the effects controls. Increase the top and bottom properties to something around 15%. The great advantage of having the crop now on the adjustment layer is so that we can change the position of each clip underneath until it fits inside the frame. Now, For instance, here we need to give more headspace to this person. You could even animate the black bar so that they come in slowly, perfect to go to a b-roll sequence in your edits. Next, I'm gonna take a dive into the water, but the water is cold. So let's make it hot and add some smoke to it. You guessed it, drag the adjustment layer above your clip and then drop the VR fractal noise effect to that adjustment layer. Head over to the effects controls and under opacity, set the blend mode to screen and click the pen tool and create a mask so that the smoke is only visible above the water. When you're done with that, increase the mask feather a bunch until it blends perfectly. Now you're gonna add some motion into the smoke. To do that, go to the fractal noise effect and move the playhead to the beginning of the video. Enable the stopwatch next to the evolution control and move the playhead to the end of the clip. Then set the evolution to something around 200 degrees. And that already adds some motion into it, making it more realistic. And now you want to color match your smoke with the water. Open up the Lumetri panel from the window menu on top and then make the smoke match with your image. Perhaps add some warmth in it from the sunlight. You could even make the smoke radioactive if you want to. That's up to you. 
Now the camera moves forward, but the smoke still stays still. <laughs> so let's fix that. Find the transform effect and drop it onto your clip. Then simply animate the position of that transform effect so that the smoke follows the water a little bit. And now you know how to edit yourself into a hot tub or hot river hot wild river in which you probably die. But Jordy now, why did we use an adjustment layer for this? Well, that's because we used multiple effects to create the smoke and we also had to mask out these effects. And because of the adjustment layer, we only had to create one mask instead of masking every effect separately. And the fifth and last trick for this video, we're going to create a custom lens flare, which is also something that you can do with an adjustment layer. Drag it on top of your clip and then look for the four color gradient effects. Drop it onto the adjustment layer and head over to the effects controls. Now first you want to change the blending mode to screen, then decrease the opacity of the effect, and next change the position of the colors to your likings to whatever fits your video. Also animate the position of the colors because we have a camera movement in our shot, and because of that the lens flare will move as well. Now take a look at this guys, almost like a real lens flare. Now hit that like button guys which really helps this video in the YouTube algorithm and thus you're supporting this channel, so thank you so much for doing that, and thank you for watching, and as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left, guys. This one is pretty nice as well. You definitely want to check that one out. And over there is the subscribe button to see this beautiful face every single week. All right, let's do that. And I'll see you next week.